Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Friday. Yay, right? Um, and I want to show you, I'm going to try something. You know, vinegar is a good cleaner. So my bathroom sink and our master bedroom is, clean, is clogged up. So I'm going to pour vinegar in there, you know, and wait 20 minutes and come back and see if it drains good. So I'm going to show you right now. All right, guys, I'm back. While I waited for that, I've sprayed down the sink. I haven't cleaned the bathroom in about a week. I did the mirrors. So I wiped down the sink a little. I'm still going to wipe it down again. Um, sprayed some Lysol in here. I'm going to show you a hack. So let's see if this vinegar worked. No. I don't think it did. It's filling up. Let's see how fast it goes down. Hmm. It is going a little faster. Maybe I'll do it twice. Okay, hold on. I have to go get the vinegar. Okay, so I poured the vinegar in. And I'm just using the white distilled vinegar. And I'm going to wait a while. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you my hack that I do. So I already did one side of the toilet. Usually I clean the bathroom every other day. That's no lie. I've been mad at my husband and I haven't been wanting to do anything and I've been work working and busy. But anyway, so that one's clean, right? So come on to this side and I sprayed uh, some cleaner on there and I'm using this Swiffer dry cloth folded in half. You know how when you clean your uh, toilets and if there's dog, pet hair, urine hair, whatever, sometimes it sticks to the toilet even after you wipe it down. Well, Swiffer dry cloth, I know some people don't like waste, but anyway, waste and dry cloths, but Dry cloth takes it right off. All trapped on the cloth, not on the toilet. So there you have it. There's, there's that for you. Also, how I clean the mirrors is I use uh, Grove Collaborative has a glass concentrated cleaner. I dump one whole bottle in here and I fill it up to about almost top, up to about here and spray your you don't get any streaks it's beautiful anyway i'm going to wait a couple more minutes for this second thing of vinegar because it was slow moving and i'll be okay guys we take charcoal baths a lot so whether we get to bring we're not really that dirty but anywho um what i use on the tub is sentiva with the grapefruit, it's Tahitian grapefruit splash. All I did, spray it on, spray it on the stuff stains, spray it around the corners. And I don't like sponges to reuse them, but I have a pack of these sponges. All you do, get it wet a little bit on the scrubby side and just scrub. See how quick it comes off. Sentivia is 99 point whatever, 9% killing germs. So that is my hack for there. Just take the scrubby side. Look how clean it is opposed to the dirty side. Just from spraying a little bit of that on. Don't have to do much effort. And then it's kind of hard to do this. Just spray it off. Good as now. There might be a spot here or there. Once in a while, that you might have to go over again, but there's no worries. 
And I sprayed my plunger with the Centivia. So I see this spot. Oh yeah, that was easy to get off. That's the only bad thing, guys, about the charcoal soaks is they really make a mess in your tub. And then if you don't clean it out that night when you use it, you just end up. And look, that crack back there, you guys push this through and get the dust out. But after I get this all tidied up, I got to open the door and get in there and get the bottom. But what I'm going to do is spray down. Hold on. I'm going to spray down all the dirt in the bottom to the drain. Then I'll clean the hair out. And then I'll scrub down there. Now that this is this this is dried off pretty much good. I'll put that back over there so it'll collect dust again. I'm just cleaning um, this, uh, what's it called? Um, soap, soap dish. Gosh, I, I'm always having the loss for words. Anyway, it gets built up soap on there around the corners and edges. And sometimes it's hard to get off, so you just have to soak it. And then it comes off pretty easily. But this is one of my favorite dishes. Look how pretty it is. It actually matches my bedroom better than this bathroom, but I liked it, so I got it. That's all nice. Nice and clean. And I just put that back over there in the corner. I have some soup up there. And this little thing I usually put uh, Epsom salt in in the bags just to store it. And it's really just for decorational purposes anyway, so you can store soap or whatever you want in it. I rinse it with hot water, get all the germs. Good as new. And I just like the decoration, how it sits here next to the tub. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sanitize the bottom area of this. Then I'll come back and show you the sink. Hopefully it will be free, clog free. All right, people. All right, guys. So I'm done scrubbing this tub and the walls and I shined up uh, the silver. This tub was here when we moved in. So some of the current, that's chrome, not silver. It's whatever. It's not going to shine up. Well, this is another bathroom hack. Get your Swiffer and let me zoom in so you can see. Let's see. See the spots on the ceiling? I don't know why it's not focusing right. Well, anyway, you can see the spots. Uh, you just take your Swiffer and, of course, the wet side, and you just glide it on over. It's kind of hard to do it while I'm holding the phone, too, so to record. Voila. Gone. Some of these stains won't go away. I sprayed them with bleach 
like I said, this house was, this tub was here when we moved in. But on this part right here, um, this is, uh, what is it, plastic, so it's easier to manage the clean. And there you have all the sweaty body oils. Our funky soap scum right there there you have it so I'm gonna mop the floor of course I'm gonna get a new Swiffer mop thing for my bathroom floor and uh, come back by then hopefully 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 by then the um, sink will be clogged free oh, gosh I sound like I can't talk okay I'm gonna head on over Get me another Swiffer wet mop pad. Oh, and the other thing I use on the shower um, tub is Method Daily Shower Spray after I clean it. And then I use this every day after we take a shower or bath. Um, just to keep. Well, here we are. It's bubbling like it wants to go down. But it's still, it's still not draining. Normally when you turn the water on, and it let, I guess I'm going to have to get liquid plumber. Or if the trap is real trapped up with hair, my husband's going to have to take the trap out. So I'm sure it probably would have worked if it wasn't, hadn't been probably so much back up in there. No. Slowly, slowly draining. I need liquid plumber. Oh, there's one thing that I didn't do, and that was the wall has a uh, line across it. I don't know what that's from, but I have, um, what's it called? Magic eraser. Good Lord, my words elude me. Okay, I'll be back. Now look at this, peeps. I went to get the magic eraser like less than a minute. And it's going down. It's draining. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Anyway, this is a magic eraser I use only on walls. It is kind of dirty. And it's not a magic eraser, the name brand. It is the dollar store brand. And it goes, it really does, um, what's it called? Um, you use it up quicker because the other one, I guess, is stronger. I don't know what that line is. I recall, I think I, uh, look, it took the paint off. I think that's something that bled through. It's taking the paint off. Yeah, I think I did this before. Now that I'm doing it now, I'm pretty sure I did it before. It took paint off. So I think it's something that just bleeds through the paint that was there with the previous owners. We lived here for two years, so there's lots of things that could be corrected. But there's how the bathroom hack cleaning the bathroom. I wiped down those racks, the window ledge, the floorboard. The floorboard I don't do every other day. The floorboard I do only, you know, when it needs it. So that's it. Bathroom hack of the day. Thank you for watching. May God bless and keep you and yours. Stay safe. Bye.